Hey everyone, this is Ken, and today we're going to be doing a showcase on a desert temple. Now, what's great about this temple is the simple fact that it acts and functions as a house, which is a plus. And I wanted to create a nice desert theme. I wanted to have that Egyptian style Nile River, you know, vibe to it, but also have that modern contemporary feel at the same time. Now the cool thing is there are tons of cool features that I've added inside. We're going to check out in a bit. Now I wanted to create a design that actually functions with different texture packs. So as you can see, it really flows with a whole bunch of different styles and different texture packs to really add to this. Because I noticed a lot of people make designs based on just one style. So I wanted to have that diversity where you could really choose the theme that you want and it'll still flow with it, which is great because I love it. I mean, it really has that contemporary feeling to it. I mean, I love the fact that it has a bit of modernness to it, but also that Egyptian and desert feel to it, which was kind of the goal that I was going for. And what's also cool about this is the small fact that the water acts as a barrier to actually protect you from most mobs. So it's a great way to really give a different style to it, but also have that kind of bit of security feature to the design as well. Now, like I was saying, guys, I mean, this is great. I mean, it really works with diverse textures and kind of brings a bit of a unique feel to it. I mean, I love the fact that you could really incorporate this in different styles. So we're going to start off with the basic standard texture pack. And I'm going to show the interior and you guys are going to let me know what you think as well. Now, the second you go inside, you're going to notice this grand theme. I mean, I want to have this kind of mansion kind of feeling to it. And as you can see, I mean, it really brings a certain presence to it. Now, this has all the features that you naturally need in a house. I mean, we do have an enchanting table that does work at full max capacity, even at that type of style. And I also incorporated an industrial furnace system. Now, this furnace system holds about 10 furnaces, and they work perfectly fine. Now, that light on top is going to indicate to you that whatever you cooked is in that chest in front of you. Now, the second one item or all the items come out, the light will turn off, which is great. It lets you know that there's something in there. And, of course, that lever activates the coal to distribute everything evenly, and the other side, vice versa. Now, what we have over here is a fully automatic brewing system. Now, this is great because it's actually very compact, and I actually have a tutorial on it if you guys want to check it out. And we also have a nether wart farm just because you're always going to need that, especially when you're dealing with potions. So, let's begin. The second you hit that button, the brewing stand inside is going to fill up with water bottles, which is great. Now, we're going to need some nether wart to start off this potion, and as you could check, Look at that, it's already starting off, off the bat, which is fantastic. Now we're going to make a potion of night vision. Now the second you hit that button, of course we're going to need a carrot, a golden carrot to make one. That rest on lamp will turn on, because that's a great, a great way to really indicate what you chose. And what I love about this system is the simple fact that it's very simple to make, and it works instantly. The cool thing is, it really doesn't take up that much space in the house, which is a plus. Now, I also added a fully automatic armor stand. Now, what I like about this is the simple fact that the second you walk right inside, your armor gets equipped, but you also get a weapon at hand, which is your sword. Now, to really add to the, the whole theme of it, especially when you need items that you can't get in the main world and you have to go to the nether, we have this fully automatic nether portal, which turns on and off with a hit of a button. So it's a great way to really just get your stuff, go to different places, but have the confinement within your house. Now we're going to go to the second floor, and we're going to check it out. Now in the second floor, I added a few cool things. We got some storages, some crafting tables, but we also have a really neat kind of what I like to call a vending machine, which is on the left. Now, I wanted to incorporate a cobblestone generator, which I have here, from the simple fact that a lot of the items that you tend to craft require some form of cobblestone. 
And plus, it's just a great resource to have at hand, especially if you really don't want to go outside for mining, especially at nighttime. Now, I didn't label this crap, this vending machine with anything yet, but it's pretty simple. Once you activate that button, it's going to shoot an item into that chest. Now, you can put either food in there or just any basic resources that you want in that chest. But the second there's something in that chest, that light will turn on, giving you a nice indication when there's something inside. Now, we're going to go upstairs. And I'm going to show you the what I like to call the master bedroom. Now, of course, I like to make it all the way to the top. Because it kind of gives it a certain privacy and kind of really brings a different feel to it. Now we have this open area here, which allows light or natural light to come in and kind of gives you an idea what time it is outside. And to me, it's kind of cozy. I mean, I like it. I mean, it really keeps you away from the mobs and doesn't really interfere with your sleeping. Because I know sometimes that could be a problem. And there you have it, guys. That's the entire house. Now, at one point, I will be making a tutorial on this. If you guys want me to add anything to it, just please leave a comment and I would definitely like to hear your opinions on it. And even at night, it really gives a whole different presence. Anyway, guys, I want to thank everybody for watching. If you could please leave a comment and subscribe. Thank you.